Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we are going to look at backhand topspin versus backspin. Now, this is a shot which some people do very well, and many of us, myself included, find much more difficult. So what I'm going to show you are a few common mistakes that players make when trying to do backhand topspin versus backspin and looking at ways we can correct those mistakes. And I'm also going to show you examples of players who do backhand topspin uh, against backspin very well so we can all learn from them. Okay, let's have a look at some of the common errors. This video is sponsored by Brybar Table Tennis. Brybar sell a huge range of table tennis equipment from the best brands. And now Brybar can ship equipment internationally. So wherever you are in the world, you can buy from brybartt.co.uk. Let's look at some of these common errors which players make when doing topspin versus backspin. Um, these are errors that I do myself as well, so I'm very familiar with them. Um, the first one I want to highlight is just being too tight, holding the bat with too much of a firm grip. And what does this do? When you tense up and you play it too tight, it's now incredibly difficult to use your wrist. So you end up just kind of using your forearm and by being too tight and over gripping, that also has the effect of slowing your bat down. Um, so what often happens is when you're too tight and you try to do this, the ball just often ends up going into the net because you're not able to generate enough acceleration and spin on the ball, okay? So tight backhand, not so good. What do we do instead? Well. When you play backhand topspin, it needs to be nice and relaxed and fluid. When you're nice, loose grip, this means you'll be able to start utilizing your wrist and you will have more acceleration when you play the stroke, okay? So nice and loose and fluid when you play backhand topspin versus backspin. Another common error which some players make is hitting the ball too flat. It's almost like driving through the ball rather than spinning the ball. Now, this is often caused by players reaching forwards and taking the ball too early. Now, that means their swing trajectory comes forwards too much and it ends up being more of a drive shot rather than a top spin where you're lifting the ball over the net. And what happens then is when players hit the ball too much, drive through it too much, it either goes into the net or if it does go over the net, because there's not much spin on the shot, it will often go long off the end of the table. It won't dip back, get back down. So what do you do instead? Well, you wait. Wait for the ball just to pass the end of the table. Then it is much easier to get your spin up the back of the ball and then to send it over, okay? When someone's pushing at you and the ball's slowing down, it's just so tempting to want to get in there, but wait, 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 wait. Wait for that ball just to come off the table and then get your top spin in. Another common mistake you often see is to do with the bat angle. And some players will start tilting the bat angle this way to try and lift the ball up. So in effect, the ball's coming over with back spin and then just hitting upwards underneath the ball. Now, actually this will get the ball over the net, but 
there's not going to be any spin on your attack. All you're really doing is just lifting the ball up. And that gives your opponent the opportunity just to hit the ball back past you, okay? So whilst that might get the ball over the net, there's not really going to be any quality whatsoever. So when you're playing backhand topspin versus backspin, at a minimum, you're gonna keep your bat angle straight, so therefore you can brush up the back of the ball, okay? And that's going to start, allow you to actually generate some decent topspin, which will make the ball dip and kick. Um, some players who can do backhand topspin very well, they might even just turn the bat angle a little bit more, and with lots of acceleration, will send that ball over the net, making it very challenging for their opponents, okay? So this, not so good. This, good. This, also good, okay? Bat angle. And one more common error that I want to highlight is um, sometimes you'll see players shape up to do backhand topspin and almost collapse the elbow and the shoulder, okay, which looks quite, quite awkward, doesn't it? So they feel like they're getting good spin and this sort of thing happens. Um, now, when players do this, they don't tend to have that much consistency with the stroke. Um, they may be able to spin the ball over a little bit, but there's probably not going to be a great deal of pace on the shot. Um, but just as often as they collapse, the ball actually dies into the net. So whilst this bit may have been working well, good spin, the collapsing of the elbow and the shoulder doesn't help at all. So keep the wrist, but keep this elbow more stable and think about pivoting the shot around the elbow position, okay? So that's gonna just stay where it is. And therefore, what you're going to find is you're going to be able to accelerate much more. You're gonna be able to play with a bit more both speed, spin, and also power as this elbow brings stability to the rest of the stroke, okay? So, not this, more this. And let's look at some examples of players who do backhand topspin very well. I'll start off with um, Emma Haradine, who is a top female veterans player. And Emma has a lovely fluid backhand topspin motion. Really look at her wrist and how fluid that action is. She generates lots of topspin on this one. It's perhaps a, 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 a quite a um, consistent way of playing a backhand topspin against backspin. She gets a nice loop over the net, but very spinny and very reliable. Very nice technique. And here's another example, Coach Ferenc. Also plays backhand topspin very well. Um, similar to Emma, very fluid with the wrist. He has what he describes as kind of like a wave-like motion as he contacts the ball, a lot of acceleration, um, a little bit more aggressive than Emma's one. His uh, Ferenc's shot stays a little bit lower over the net, a little bit more power. Maybe there's a bit more risk involved with this one, but if you can do it well, then it's going to be a shot which is capable of winning points. And then finally, let's go to the extreme. England international player Liam Pitchford, one of the best backhands in the world. Um, and it, Liam's technique is it's incredible, okay? You see how much he turns his wrist back, kind of really turns his bat over and just absolutely accelerates through the ball. So Liam's backhand topspin stays very low over the net incredibly fast and capable of winning points outright. So there's three examples of players who all do backhand topspin versus backspin very well, but their technique is all slightly different. So you could try out each of theirs. You could try out Emma's, try out Ferenc's, try out Liam's, 
and just see what works best for you. But I think the key thing with all of them is just how well they use their wrist and how fluid the stroke is. And that is so important when playing backhand topspin against backspin. You need the looseness and that whip-like motion to be able to generate the spin to counter the backspin and cause your opponent problems. Thanks very much for watching. I will have plenty more videos coming soon. And if you like this video, you might be interested in joining Tom's TT Academy. You'll get access to a training drill library, in-depth courses, a coaching clinic, and much more. Uh, it's a great way to take your game to the next level. Go to tomsttacademy.com to find out more information.